Hey, I'm Emmanuel Manny, and this is Nikolai Design. Come on in. So today we're gonna be working on a living room makeover. This is my parents' house, and the living room had been activated for quite some time. So let's go through the process of renovating everything, and then I'll show you guys the final result. But first, let's grab a glass of whiskey. Let's go. Now that I have a drink in my system, let's talk about the before. We have a huge TV unit, it's dark, it's dingy, the room is a mess, the sofas are too dark for the space, it's kind of bringing everything down. We need more lighting in this space, we gotta get rid of that mirror wall behind the TV unit. This needs help guys, this needs a lot of help and we really have to clear out the mess that's everywhere. So let's get to it. What really inspired this project and started it all was actually Chelsea Handler's Architectural Digest video and this is her living room, I absolutely loved it and then I just started building upon that. This is James Charles's video and it's almost identical to what I replicated. It's so beautiful, it's so crisp, it's so clean. Minus the white sofas which we did differently because we wanted something that was more livable, more usable and more durable. This is another picture, I like, kind of like to pair up different pictures and get my different ideas and tastes together and kind of create from these pictures my own version or iteration of that. And so the fun begins. First we remove the wall of mirrors and then we began building our frame that would house both the fireplace and the TV. For this, we chose to make the TV hole the same as the fireplace so that there was symmetry in between both and that they didn't look out of place when you were, or out of line when you were looking at it head on or from the side. We could have gone with a bigger TV, but that would have thrown off the size of our fireplace and that bezels on the side of the frame would have been a little too small for my liking. And now it's time to paint. We went with White Dove from Benjamin Moore to brighten up the space and give it a nice clean vibe. Now for the fireplace, we opted for filling it with wood instead of putting an actual gas burning or electrical screen. One, I don't like how the screens look. I think it looks cheap and tacky. If you have this in your house, I'm sorry, but I don't particularly like it for mine. And my dad actually wanted a gas one, but it was too costly to kind of justify it, especially since we're in Florida. Filling the empty hole with wood kind of achieves that look at a much lesser price. No pun intended. And now it's built in time. Here's the contractor working on our shelves. He's measuring everything now. He's with his son, kind of make, making things happen. And then the footage kind of dies. Oh, look at me and the goggles. I had just gotten LASIK and my face doesn't look too happy because that's the first day that I had seen the shelves and the stain in person and I made the mistake of approving the stain via like a video call and I didn't realize that it wasn't the color that I liked. But we're taking the fan down, we're putting in a new one, this was not what that space needed. As you can see the can lights are already installed and yeah. So for over top the sofa I wanted a large art piece and I had this canvas already sitting in the garage from years ago so I decided that I was gonna make my own art piece and I grabbed a drink or a few really late at night may have smoked something sweet and I just I just went at it and honestly the first product when it was wet it looked great but the next morning it looked horrible so I went in for step two and I played it safe and I love how it came out and you guys will see it very very sh sh shortly all right, now let's get this room staged and continue with the rest of the reveal. So this is a newly renovated living room. You guys take a look around. Um, we'll start right here. This is one of the vases that my parents kind of collected over the years. They've traveled to many places and it's authentic. I don't remember where it's from. Do you know where it's from? 
I'm talking to you. Do you know where it's from? I don't remember. So one of the most important parts of the living room makeover, aside from obviously the very dramatic feature wall with the fireplace and the built-in, was the rug because we weren't changing out any of the flooring and the rug kind of needed to be large and cover this old tile and it kind of suits the space really nicely. Let's go over here. So here we used to have a really beautiful planter with a bird of paradise tree, but she died before I recorded the video. And then I purchased another one and because we don't have enough lighting, she also died. And then I bought a fiddle fig and she also left us. So this is gonna remain empty. These build tents were actually custom made for us. This is some rattan weaving right here. This is actually caning. Guys, take this as a hint. You need to see your stains in person and your colors in person before you give the go ahead. But it actually turned out working really nicely. It was a little bit more orange than I would have liked, but that's just what happens when you decide over the phone. So these pieces here are actually from Africa. They're hand woven by the African people. I'm kidding, this was purchased in Ross for $9.99. Um, this is actually a little trinket my parents already had. And this is also from Ross. It came in black and I transformed it and kind of just painted it with some baking soda and a kind of a khaki coat. So this is also from one of those stores. This one's from Marshalls, it was $10. I had purchased it for my room, but I didn't like it there. So I incorporated it here. This is actually from Palm Springs. It's kind of a collective. I wanted to keep it as a memory. And this is from Jerusalem. My dad's very into church, so that's that. Up here we actually have some ceramic vases. These aren't the ones that you find at home goods or any of that. This is from Dominican Republic. My parents have had these for years and I wanted to incorporate those. So, and then over here, this is actually from Cuba. My parents are Cuban and they bought this when they were there. This is actually belongs to a leather chair, but we put it up here because we had nowhere to put it with the legs. All right, so obviously the most dramatic change in this room has been the built-in and the fireplace. My dad built this with some of my help, um, but I was mostly at work the whole time while he was building this. So we can pull the TV out and access whatever's down here because it kind of acts like a storage. And then we can push it back and have it be flush with the wall. And down here, my dad actually wanted like an actual fireplace installed, but those are a lot pricier than what was in his budget. So I suggested that we go for some wood logs and it kind of gives the effect of a fireplace without the cost. And then over here, we have more little trinket. This is from Africa. It's built by the indigenous people there. It was only $20 at Ross and you can find it at Wafer for actually 88. So this is an amethyst. I always wanted one when I was younger growing up. As my parents had family friends, I had huge ones of these and I always aspired to have one. So it's nice to have one in my house. This, my dad actually broke for my sister because she breaks everything. Um, and this is probably also from like Mexico or one of That's those Spain. countries. That's Spain. That's from Spain. Okay, well, according to my mom, this is from Spain. And then up here, we just have more little trinkets. I actually bought this in Colombia. I love this piece. It's like a, it's a heart where you, it's like a heart decanter, but it's like wrapped in this metal wire. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like something Roman or like when Jesus was around. I really liked it. And that completes this. All right, and then we have the couches. The reason that we didn't go for something a little bit more modern or lower profile is because my parents wanted to keep the utility of a room like this while also having it be functional and comfortable. So these do recline, even though they look a little bit more modern. You can kind of sit over here and recline back and watch the TV while you're having your drink in your bullet whiskey cup. And then over here we have a painting that I actually made myself. I doubted my abilities and my skills at first because the first one that I did, I really, really didn't like. But then something just happened and this one turned out really great. All right, and then over here we have, this is actually one of my favorite pieces. I actually purchased this in Jamaica and negotiated a little bit, but I'm really happy with the piece. It was meant to go in like my bathroom in the future, but it just fits this area so nicely. It was perfect here. And then these are just from Marshalls. Oh, also, I had the option of doing like a table lamp or a chandelier. And luckily my dad's pretty handy with electricity. So we opted for the chandelier and then we got this beautiful chandelier installed. It really makes a difference. Instead of having like a table lamp kind of clutter your table, you can actually put the core accents there. 
and have your chandelier up on top. Oh, and also one of my favorite fake. Ah. No. Not for them, not for them. One of my favorite pieces in this room is actually the fan. We needed to keep a ceiling fan because we are in Florida and a lot of times it gets hot during the day. My parents don't like to have the AC all the way down the whole day. So this kind of keeps the room fresh and it looks very stylish. So if you guys like this video, please like down below, subscribe, that would really help. My Instagram is Emmanuel Manny and my design page is Nikolai.design. Guys, follow. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day.